Hi, it's Amanda Creative Gardener. So today we're going to be looking at some mango trees and seeing how they've developed since the first one you saw that I did like a couple years ago. So come on, let's go. So when I normally get a mango, I, I normally put it in soil. I've had, um, there's been a few, I'm not, I'm not even sure what the varieties are, but several varieties where the mangoes have been enormous and um, I've had several varieties like my neighbour's got um, a couple of mango trees but the mangoes they have are small and quite fibrous so I like the ones that you know are, are, are bigger and have got lots of flesh to them and um, are not haven't got a lot of fibre on but I'm not sure you know what they're called and, and as I say there are so many different varieties of mango so I've got um, six I think six mango trees and I'll show you them at the different stages so let's have a look at them so this is a sorry a sorry very sorry looking mango tree but this one actually was doing really well and then there there came a point where I think what happened is we were troubled by they I started seeing uh, locusts in the garden and um, the leaves just started I mean this was taller this was like double the size of this and then it just started dying the top started dying so I really don't know um, what is eating the leaves I've um, I thought it might be um, the slugs and the snails um, but this is looking really sad it does have you know some sort of like you know there looks to be that there's some regrowth but it's you know this top section I guess is is dead <laughs> as you can see there's no bringing that back um, but I'm still hopeful I also lay down because sometimes I find Epsom salts works really good and that works I found that works well on my rosemary plant but um, what I might have to do is put I put a lot of compost in here as well and I've been watering in it watering it quite regularly but the other plant that's had problems with, you know, being eaten by the slugs, and you can sometimes see um, the slime, yeah, like on this, you can see where they've slimed their way up. You can see it, shiny. This is my new tree. So I've grown this from a little plant, and um, I must have had at least 20 and only two survived and this one is very you know every now and again something eats the leaves and even you know starts like parts of the leaves here have been eaten so and that's happened to the other tree as well um so again all i can do is to try and as much attention and as love as, as possible and this one again I don't know why the leaves are browning um, we had a lot of rain yesterday so it's not as if it's it's dry um, I've fed this one as well maybe I think I did put some Epsom salts near it as well um, but I, I'm I'm not sure what's going on but let me take you to some better looking ones and it may be the position maybe it's maybe they need more more shade so let's have a look at the other two okay so these three <laughs> been planted in unusual positions so what happened is i had um i had loads of um mango seeds and so i think these pro these ones are probably the ones that my ne the mango from the mangoes that my neighbor gave me um because i'd thrown them into um it was a bucket and the ones at the bottom started growing as they started to decompose so i rescued them and planted them out so this one is too close to this tree which i'm still finding out what the name is um still looking for the name um so I might have to move this one this one I planted here because I thought um, and you can see you know it's quite healthy it's growing um, I've mulched it and um, 
it seems to be doing quite well and it's split uh, like I saw a program where they cut them at a certain at hip height the guy was saying and they kind of then branch out and these seem to be doing it I don't have to do anything but I planted that there because I want this to then grow big in this area at the back I want to be able to have um, I'm not going to again not let it grow too high where um, you can't reach all the mangoes um, but yeah you know it's going to grow and I think like I say I will I always say that um and this is one of the best advices i've been given the advice is sorry the best advice i've been given that you know you can you can decide how big you want it to grow and yes you do have to keep an eye on it because like my clama cherry tree that seems to just sprout up leaves like nobody's business but let's go to and i'll show you it at the end so this is the other I think this is one of the first that I planted and um, I put it back here and I noticed that it's got these brown leaves so I don't know whether it means it's going to be fruiting <laughs> not this year maybe I don't know I don't think so but um, it's nice to see it growing and again because it's had you know good uh, water in the water's come this is a very rich area back here um, and <laughs> you can see me <laughs> I put the mirror back there because when you're down on the other side there and you look back it looks like a continuous it looks you know like you can secret garden kind of thing that's the kind of thing that I'm working on but yeah this mango is growing quite well and over there in my neighbor's garden see all the Mexican sunflower the seeds just blew over you see them all just growing there but what they've been doing is just cutting it they don't realize that I keep saying to them that it's uh, you know good fertilizer um, but they're not really growing anything at the moment but um yeah look this is I'm just so pleased to see this it's amazing the only other mango that I've got I'd actually where did I put it I'm just trying to think now I put it here where is it I'm sure I put it hmm. this is not good I'm sure I put it in this bed I'm sure I put it here but it's not here let me go and check <laughs> I found it <laughs> so this one was under my um, in this corner over there right in the corner under that tree just right in that corner basically and the clemmer cherry trees there is quite shady and I didn't want to have a big mango tree there so I thought let me bring it out here and yeah I'll have a mango tree here so this one just start, suddenly started coming up and I think probably what I need to do is water it. Yeah, you see my sweet corn? But that's for another day. So this, um, I wondered whether it would have issues um, being moved, but I'm hopeful that it will grow. So that's the mango. <laughs> and whether I'll get, I don't know when I'll get mangoes. From this particular one but um yeah as i say you know when i get um any types of any type of seeds um that are fruited that you can get fruit from them or vegetables or whatever i'm going to put them in the soil because i want this garden to be like a food a food forest i want a food forest basically so i want to maximize the use um of the land so that things will grow and um yeah you just have to really make the most of um make the most and keep an eye so like i said with this one i definitely have to keep i have to find out do some more research as to why the leaves would be growing going brown is it that it's not getting enough water 
is it getting too much or is it not enough nutrients because they were both this one and that one um, down there that's looking really sad I don't know where he thinks he's going Look at him. yeah <laughs> he jumps over and then he's gonna come down here and uh, he must have heard the other dogs but I think they're going in now um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry for that, um, but find out, because it's quite consistent over all of the leaves, so find out what's going on and um, sort it out. So if you're growing mangoes, let me know, let me know, because you might have some pointers for me, that would be great. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, you know, if you've got any advice, um, that would be great because that's the way that we grow we share information and whenever I get any more information I'll share it as well okay let's get out of this wind and I will see you soon